Hello everyone. So it has been quite some time since I produced and shared any films with you here on the platform www.youtube.com. I have had the most busy month to date. I did 10 flights. Two of those were to the United States. I visited Hollywood for a couple of days, which was marvellous. I had an awful lot of fun. But today's film is going to be a brand and product focus film where we try out, trial out and review several products from an in particular brand. Today I'm going to be reviewing the entire Banish range. The story of Banish is quite fascinating. It was founded by a lady called Miss Daisy Jing, who also happens to be a YouTuber. YouTuber. I shall leave the applicable link to her channel within the description of this film. And Miss Jing's story is quite inspiring because she was somebody that unfortunately suffered from acne and she chose to very bravely share her own struggle with acne on her channel. Acne is a condition that affects human beings, both male and female all across the world, from Australia to Azerbaijan, from California to Korea, from Japan to Jamaica. It's everywhere. It can be found everywhere. So it is a very human condition. Acne can be such a difficult thing to have. I really do empathize with anyone that has had acne, currently has acne or is developing the first stages of acne. I really do empathize. Acne, of course, is so varying. It can either be cysts or it can be spots that don't burst. It can also be bleeding. Acne is a very varying thing. It's also varying from individual to individual. There is a part of me as well that thinks of all places to have cysts or bloody spots. It would be easier to deal with if it was on the arm or on the leg, but on the face, it's the place where you interact with the world and it's a place that you also interact with yourself. Acne for most is only a temporary thing, even though it can be devastating, not only to yourself, your self-confidence, your well-being, also to the skin. Acne can leave terrible scars, but I may have a remedy for that in today's film. Because acne is such a difficult thing to treat, I think it can leave people feeling slightly isolated. That is why I have found Banish and Miss Jing's work so very inspiring. Miss Jing was of course sharing her struggle and eventually formulated her own products. Miss Jing developed her own products to treat her own acne. Many people took an interest in these products and so Banish was created and became a huge success. Banish is a company that is based in California, marvellous place, and they deliver worldwide. You can only buy Banish products exclusively from Banish at www.banish.com. What I like about Banish is the products and the tools that they manufacture are all natural. All of the products are natural. They don't really have harsh chemicals in them and there are only five skincare products so there aren't actually that many. The products are very no-nonsense. There isn't really any slogans. They do exactly what they claim to do. Aside from their fantastic products, they also retail micro needles, which I will explain a little bit about in just a moment. Even though there is a predominance within the marketing that Banish do, for people with acne, their products are fantastic. I am very fortunate in that respect that I am not somebody that has to date suffered with acne. But I would definitely say, even if you are somebody that doesn't happen to suffer from acne, the products and the tools are fantastic. Typically when I do a review, if it's off makeup, I usually have never tried it before. However, with skincare, I feel it is better to have trialed out the product for some time before being able to do a review on it. I have been using Banish products for almost a year now. The first product that I'm going to speak about from Banish is their micro needle banisher. It is basically a micro roller. They're also known as derma rollers. What they basically are is just hundreds of tiny, tiny micro needles. The Banish one with the Banish branding, its needles are made from titanium, which tends to be the best metal to use in micro needles. You roll this across the skin. Now it might seem quite scary, the idea of putting little needles into your skin, but I will explain it so that you understand. When you employ a micro roller to the skin, it is designed to initiate the epidermis's capacity to repair and regenerate the skin. By creating micro wounds, the epidermis then repairs these tiny wounds. It's just like when you get a cut or a scar on any part of the body, your body then starts to heal it, it begins healing. What microneedling does, it just simply reinitiates the healing process. This has proven to be the best method when healing scars, particularly acne scars. I would be careful about microneedling if you have keloid scars or if you have raised scars, you know, very large raised scars, as you may damage a nerve. Those types of scars I think are best 
left to specialists. They're best dealt with by specialists. If you are somebody that has had acne, this technique of employing the micro roller to the skin will most likely prove to be very effective at healing the scars and also rebuilding the texture. What it really does is uses the body's own capacity to heal itself. So it basically triggers the body's response to being wounded. The scarring that can be left by acne is often pitting. What happens with acne, even if you're somebody that doesn't have acne and you have had a spot and it has left a scar, either the pore or the hair follicle has either had an overproduction of sebum or it has been blocked. If you imagine it, it's almost as if the pore or the hair follicle becomes stretched by the pustule. It becomes damaged, so then the body repairs it as much as it can. But because it has been damaged so severely, it doesn't close all the way back. So that is what causes the pitted scars. As I have said already, I am not somebody that has had acne. However, for those of you who are unaware, I do happen to be male. I am a man. With that being said, I do have a beard and most of my beard I have had removed by means of laser and electrolysis. However, when you are somebody that has facial hair that grows daily, it keeps growing, wish it didn't, but there's still a little bit of my hair left. I have had the majority of it removed. When you shave that, that causes abrasion and damage to the skin. And the skin can then feel as if though it is dried. After shaving, I tend to get quite a lot of pustules, particularly in the chin area. I'm also somebody that wears makeup. And when you have shaved the skin and wear makeup on top of it, makeup is always going to be comedogenic to some degree, whether it actually clogs a pore or blocks a pore. Makeup, unlike skincare, isn't designed to actually penetrate the skin. It's designed to sit on top of it, blocking either pores or hair follicles, which can then cause pustules. I may not have acne, but I definitely have texturization across my jaw. That is why you will be able to notice in some of my films, you will actually see almost like a sandpaper texture across my chin. It's grainy looking. Even if I've had the cleanest shave and sometimes I do wax the hair, there's always a little bit of texture there. I have been employing microneedling to get rid of it and I have had great results from the microneedling. So by using the Banish Roller Microneedle, it is a fantastic tool for encouraging your own epidermis and body to begin a process of self-healing because you're creating tiny micro wounds. So it is a completely natural way of healing. Microneedling or derma roller, whichever you want to call it, is a very different process to microdermabrasion. That is a whole other thing altogether. Microneedling is very similar to fractional laser as well as fractional needling. What those treatments are is more or less the same thing. However, with fractional laser, it's a form of laser that creates tiny little holes. It's almost like pixels. Fractional laser is almost exactly the same. It creates a micro wound. Then the epidermis responds and initiates reparation. However, fractional laser uses is heat. As somebody that has undergone laser to remove hair in the past, I can imagine it's quite painful. Fractional needling is a similar process, except it is little needles that pierce the skin, very like microneedling, but heat is sent down them. I think the greatest difference between microneedling and the likes of fractional laser or fractional needling is one cost. The cost is substantially higher as you will have to attend a specialist and most of these specialists will be based in cities. I am aware that there are many of you who live in rural areas and of course the banisher will come at a substantially smaller cost to fractional laser or fractional needling as also treatment that you can do yourself. I would definitely say absolutely do a skin test on your hand or even on your neck or in a part of the body that's not going to be seen. I would always do a small test especially when you are creating these sorts of wounds. This is a treatment. It's very important that you see it as a treatment. And I would definitely say with microneedling, it is very important that you do a patch test, first of all. So I'd always say maybe do it on the back of your hand or on the neck or on a part of the skin that you will not necessarily have seen. You might have sensitive skin and you might go bright red if you're to do it on the face, first of all. Also, it takes a little bit of getting used to. There are certain tips and techniques which I'm going to demonstrate in just a moment that I think are very useful to bear in mind and to employ when microneedling. And I will stress most likely several times within this film how important it is 
to be very sanitary and hygienic when employing the use of microneedles. Again, because you are creating a micro wound in the skin. When I first tried microneedling, I was very scared and I was thinking, oh goodness, this is going to be very painful or I didn't really know what I was doing and I was a little dubious about it working, but the first time I ever tried microneedling, I did it. It wasn't as painful as I thought. I was so looking forward to being impaled. However, it wasn't that painful. And then the next day, it was really strange. It was almost as if my skin felt bouncier. I did it everywhere. And my skin just felt more alive, is the word I would use. It just felt more oomph. It had more life in it. And that is exactly what microneedling does because it is designed to rebuild the elastic in the skin as well as rebuilding the collagen fibers. You're using the body's own capacity to heal itself, to make your skin better, to heal scars and just freshen up the skin. This is also great on fine lines. When you are wounded or hurt, the body begins the healing process to heal the wound. Microneedling creates micro wounds the body then begins to heal them. And I love the idea of microneedling. I love microneedling. I love what it can do because it is using your own natural capacity to heal, to refine your skin, to rebuild your skin and to get rid of any scars on the skin. I would certainly say if I haven't said already, I would not recommend that you use this on keloid scars on raised scars, as nerves might be more accessible, I would also not recommend that you use the micro roller, maybe the micro stamp, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. I wouldn't recommend that you use microneedling on active acne or on top of a pimple, because you will pop the pimple, which can then cause another scar, and you will also bear the risk of spreading bacteria. I would definitely recommend many of the skincare products from Banish if you are somebody that's suffering from active acne. However, I would not recommend that you use the microneedle whilst having active acne. I will state as well, with microneedles, it is so important that you do not share this. Even if you sterilize it, I would still say don't share it. That way you will not cross-contaminate bacteria and potentially cause infection. I also wouldn't use this if you have had any injury on the face. Before I begin the demonstration using all of the products and sharing my own tips and techniques and thoughts, on each of the products and how I go about using them. I'm going to run you through all of the products for which that I have with me today, from tools to skincare. The first product that I'm going to mention is the Banisher Roller. Banish called this the Banisher and it has the Banish logo on it. This currently retails for a total of 49 United States dollars. I don't necessarily know the exact amount it will be in Great British pounds. However, it's always wise to check on the currency exchange. And I would say that for wherever you are in the world, currencies constantly fluctuate. Fortunately, Banish deliver worldwide. It is very important to replace your micro needle every so often. I would say up to probably every two months. Now it also comes in this plastic container for you to store it in. I have another one just to hand to show you that it also comes in this packet, which has plastic coating on one side and paper on the other side. It is provided like this for sanitary reasons. I would say, however, always sanitize your equipment. As hygiene is very important, despite the fact that they send this in a sanitary packet anyway, and it does come totally sterilized, I would always sterilize it before you use it. Then there is the banisher stamp, which actually comes in a sealed plastic container. You can actually use the container to store it. This is very similar to the banisher roller. However, this is a stamp. It's much smaller. I'm going to demonstrate how I use it, but I will say that it is a lot more exacting. You might be somebody that might have an active spot, but not too far away you want to microneedle. This is great for that. It is also great for very specific areas. Perhaps if you don't want to microneedle a total area, with the roller, you can actually go in with the stamp. The stamp also retails at 49 United States dollars. Now, before I talk about Banish's newest product that will be launching on the 12th of November, 2018, which I have been given exclusivity to unveil here on my channel. It is making its debut into the world here on my channel, which is marvelous. We must bless it. I shall quickly mention the Banish Pore Smasher. This is a marvelous device. It's made of plastic, but the actual rolling part is faced with metal. It's very cooling on the skin. In just a moment, I shall speak to you how I use this tool, as well as the many uses I have found for it, personally and within my work. The Pore Smasher currently retails for 39 United States dollars. Now I shall share with you 
Banisher's new Banisher, the Banisher number two. And this is what it looks like. It comes in this very fancy packaging. Its casing almost seems a little bit Olympian. To remove it, you can either take the top part off or you can take the bottom off. Today, I'm going to take off the top and you just pull it out. And this is what it looks like. It's all black, it's very slick and nifty. To access it, you just unscrew the cap, revealing the micro needles. It of course has the Banish B right at the top. What makes it different to the Banisher roller, as well as the Banisher stamp, is the fact that it has gold plated micro needles. Even when I feel them, they feel very robust. The other ones are robust, but these ones feel very robust. The great thing about the lid is that you can actually put your sterilizer in here and then screw it on and give it a bit of a shake and leave it for a little while. And whilst it's sterilizing, you can actually put it back in its packaging because the top and the bottom of the packaging is designed with a little dip in it so that the end of the banisher will sit seamlessly into the lid. Aside from this being a useful and effective product, it is also attractive to look at. Now, if you were to compare it to the Banisher roller, they of course are both very similar because they are micro needling devices. Also, if you were to compare it to the Banisher stamp, they are both very similar. However, it is substantially larger. The Banisher number two has a much larger face on it. So you can use it in the same way that you will use your roller as well as your stamp. However, the number two has a far larger face. So you can actually stipple many areas with it. What makes it different to the roller? The roller actually punctures and creates its micro wound at an angle. However, with the new Banisher, it presses down all in one formation. So it actually creates its micro wound a lot more particularly than the micro roller. Both are great options, however, they do slightly different things. And this shall be its first unveiling into the world. Very exciting, we must bless it and give it all the best of luck. Another reason why they have developed the micro needles in stamp format is because a micro roller can sometimes leave tracks, often called tram tracks, whereas the stamp is certainly a lot more discreet. Regarding its cost, I am fearful to articulate and fear I may deviate from the highest degree of accuracy. However, it has been made public on the 12th of November, 2018. So I trust all additional information shall be available on www.banish.com. However, I can imagine its price to be substantially higher than the roller or the stamp because of its sophisticated packaging, as well as the gold-plated micro needles. Moving swiftly on to the skincare, as I'm sure you are all anticipating a demonstration, I'm actually going to showcase my favorite product from their range, which is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This product I adore, and it comes in this very slick black packaging. They recently updated their packaging to look like this. For those of you who are familiar with Banish, you will recognize this was what their previous packaging looked like but they've now made it all black. However, I am quite biased towards the color black, but I definitely think that all things do tend to look better when they are black. The Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask currently retails at 35 United States dollars. Another product of theirs is the Activated Charcoal Clay Mask. This is absolutely marvelous for declogging and decongesting pores. And this currently retails at 29 United States dollars. The next product is the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. This is a spray. Seen as it's a spray product, I love to just scoosh it all over my decolletage and onto the face. I try to avoid the eye area zone. I don't really like to spray things on my eyes. We certainly do not splash at the House of McLean. Splashing is very rude. We scoosh. The Banish Vitamin C Beauty Elixir currently retails at 19 United States dollars. The next product is the Banish Vitamin C Cream repairing facial cream. This is a marvelous product and they have decided to keep it in the original Banish packaging. So it hasn't gone in the all black packaging. And the Banish Vitamin C Cream currently retails at 39 United States dollars. The next product is the Banish Banish Oil, which is a very famous product of theirs. It's a fantastic oil. It isn't necessarily the type of oil that you would use to cleanse. I would describe this as being a healing oil. Banishes the Banish Oil, currently retails at 49 United States dollars. Because what the microneedling actually does to the skin, it can have dramatically positive effects for anybody that has suffered from acne and has acne scarring or hyperpigmentation. It can definitely reduce the appearance of scars and 
redness and hyperpigmentation left over from the acne. Because I am not somebody that has suffered from acne, I am unable to provide you with before and after results to showcase what a dramatic difference it can make to the skin. And because of this, Banish have very kindly provided me the right to share some of their own before and after images. This will showcase to you what microneedling can actually do to scarring as well as hyperpigmentation. It can dramatically reduce the appearance of scars as well as hyperpigmentation. Banish actually have a starter kit where you can get everything, aside from the new Banisher, as well as the vitamin C cream. When you purchase any of their tools, they do all come with a promotional leaflet and a how-to guide. They also have a 30-day returns policy that if it doesn't work out for you, if there's something that you don't like, you can return everything. Now, I have a slight faint amount of foundation on today, as well as eyebrows and a slight curl to the eyelashes. You must remove your makeup before microneedling. I am going to remove the makeup that I am currently wearing before microneedling my skin, before I do a demonstration to you. It is indispensable that you ensure that the epidermis is clean before you go in and create micro wounds. If you are to keep makeup on, like eyebrows or eye makeup, be sure not to microneedle over these areas or close to them. I have removed my makeup and I am first of all going to go in with the Banish Pore Smasher to completely clean skin. I actually keep my pore smasher in the fridge and I take a tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol on a cotton pad just to sterilize it because it's very important to clean your tools before every single use. I absolutely love the pore smasher. I actually use one of these within my work because sometimes with clients or models when they're quite tired or a little bit anxious by going over the skin with this because it's very cold. It feels very firm and thorough when you're rolling it on the skin. It's also very cold so it just wakes you up and it perks you up. Sometimes I don't have the time to do a facial massage with cleansing oils on clients or models so I like to go in with the roller which does a similar sort of thing as a facial massage. I also like to go along the neck and across the decolletage and sometimes onto the arms because it just perks you up. It makes you feel a little bit more alive and awake. Now I'm being quite thorough. I'm putting my Goliath man hands to good use. What I find about this Banish Pore Smasher is that it just firms everything. I like to take it along the jaw. I like to take it up the face. The Pore Smasher can just perk up the skin. It can also calm the skin down. So it has multiple purposes. It can waken you up and it can calm you down. Now I shall go in and apply the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. You don't actually need that much of it because once you spread it around, it's actually pretty clear aside from the slight oranginess. Now when I first got this and started trying it out, the smell of it is really strong. It does smell very pumpkiny, but the actual product itself is very effective. With the pumpkin enzyme mask, I am susceptible to use this whenever I like. I definitely find this amazing for just freshening up the skin. Or if your skin is starting to look a little bit tired, this is fantastic. It has made me look a little bit like a sheer discount Oompa Loompa, but I can assure you it is fantastic. And I think most people will enjoy this product. It is a little bit stingy at first, but it then starts to calm down and it hardens just ever so slightly. But you can wear this for ages and it doesn't flake off. Some exfoliators that work in a similar style, they start to flake off because they become very dry on the skin. I shall be using little sponges to remove it. I've just soaked these in boiling hot water. And prior to that, I had them soaking in isopropyl alcohol. And I just rub this off quite softly and I always work inwards towards the eye. I try not to drag down too much. So that is it now off the skin. It just makes my skin feel a lot fresher and a little bit smoother. The next product that I like to go in with is the Banish Activated Charcoal Clay Mask, which is absolutely fantastic for applying to areas that tend to be commodogenic. So areas that tend to get clogged pores or even spots. Most people apply these sorts of clay masks to the areas that they find are full of pores, like the nose and the side of the nose onto the cheek, a little bit onto the cheekbone itself, as well as the forehead. Now, I like to apply this to the chin and the jaw in areas where I tend to be prone to pustules due to the fact that I shave, as I've stated already, which causes a lot of pustules in that area, which can be very annoying. But 
I am going to be applying the activated charcoal clay mask to my jaw, to my nose and to my forehead. Now, because this product comes as a powder, you do have to mix it yourself. You could also create this mask by mixing it with the Banish Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. But today, I am going to be using water with my activated charcoal clay mask. Now, it may seem like quite a small amount of product, but a little goes a long way. Now, I have a little brass dish here that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to tip a little bit of that into it. Now, I like to use quite a lot because, well, I'm rather decadent. And I just mix it round and round and round like it's a merry-go-round until it's a thick-ish consistency. It's still wet, but it isn't dripping. And then I apply it directly to the skin. You can actually apply this on with a foundation brush if you like. Because I shave as well, I get spots down the neck, so I am going to be taking this onto the neck. Not going to take it onto the decolletage, however. Although I'll have to try that. Now that that is on, I'm now going to wait for it to dry. I tend to use this product once a week. It's great for just cleansing the skin. Now I applied a little bit too much. I always do this. But I'm now going to go in and remove it. But you can see it starts to dry when it goes from being a dark grey to a light grey. You will also be able to feel it. Like here it feels a little damp, whereas here it feels dry. To remove the mask, I'm using the same method for which that I used to remove the pumpkin enzyme mask. But I've got clean sponges and clean water. And right away I can actually feel that the skin is a lot softer. I'm now going to go in and microneedle the skin with the Banisher Roller. Now before you go in and microneedle, it is very important to take your little container and sterilize your microneedle. It is absolutely indispensable that every time before you use this, it has been sterilized so that it is totally clean. Because you are creating a micro wound in the skin, therefore, you really do need to be as hygienic and sanitary as you possibly can be. When you purchase the Banisher, it comes with a little tub that you can pour your sterilizer into and sterilize your equipment in it. To sterilize, I am using some isopropyl alcohol. And what you can actually do is roll it around and just let it saturate for a short period. And whilst we're letting that saturate in the sanitizer, I'm then going to go in with our banisher stamp as well as our new banisher, which comes with a little tub that you can use to keep your sterilizer in. Now, as you can see, I've only put in a little bit of sanitizer in there and I'm just going to screw it on. And as you can see, when you flip it upside down, the sanitizer is all there. And then I'm putting it back into its packaging as it sits nicely in there. Coming back to our banisher roller, I'm just shaking off the remainder of the alcohol slightly as I do not like to have alcohol directly on my skin. I do warn you before I go in with this, my skin is likely to get very, very red. I am slightly sensitive and this, I do find it a little bit irritating. And microneedling does cause a little bit of irritation for me. So what I'm going to do is go back in with my pore smasher from before. It's freshly sterilized and just go over everything. And I'm going over all the areas that I'm going to be microneedling, just to calm the skin down. Now I'm going to go in and microneedle. And I like to work upwards, applying a small amount of pressure. I like to roll in one direction, then lift up, and then roll another way. I never like to move the roller from track to track whilst on the skin, as that causes scarring. So you have to do one line, lift it up, another line, lift it up, another line, lift it up. And I do this everywhere. It is a little bit sore, it depends on how much pressure you want to apply. After all, you are creating micro wounds in the skin. Now, I don't bleed when I do this. Some people do bleed, I do not. If you have fine lines, what you can actually do is take the banisher through those fine lines, one direction, and then go the other direction. As well as if you have crow's feet, you can actually stretch that area slightly and apply the banisher. This is quite painful and I do not recommend that you go close to the eye with your banisher roller without applying a numbing cream as that area is very delicate. And I almost just stretch the skin slightly. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of redness there from shaving a little bit of irritation, so I'm just going to go over that area. You don't want to apply too much pressure as that will blunt the needles. Take it up the side of the nose as well, and down the jaw. I actually find on the jaw the most painful part. That happens to be where I have the most amount of texture. It does feel a little bit like your skin is being pricked. It is being pricked. When I think about it, Sleeping Beauty didn't actually go through that much. She had one little prick to the finger and that was her gone for a hundred years. This thing has multiple needles and I'm still going strong. Now I'm just going to leave the skin. I would go straight in with the Banish Oil, but for the sake of the review, I'm now going to go in with my Banisher Stamp. 
just prick it on the skin. This one's a little less painful and it's more specific. You can really target certain areas with it, like the side of the nose, around the nose. And I feel like you get more control with the stamp in many ways. It basically works just like the ruler, but it is more specific. Now I'm going to be going in with Banish's brand new Banisher, which is very similar to the stamp. However, it is a lot larger, and I must say it's marvelous looking, and it has gold-plated needles. I actually prefer this to the ruler, even though the ruler is very effective. The ruler can be really quite nippy, whereas this just feels like a good bit of pressure on the skin. This is my first time using the new Banisher. I did do a slight skin test on my hand the other day, but it is my first time using it on the face. And so far, I quite like this new Banisher. I feel like I get more control with the Banisher stamps because I can control the amount of pressure I want. And you can go back in and target main areas. Now, even though my skin hasn't reacted that much, you can kind of see that there is an overall pinky hue. You will be able to hear the needles going into the skin. It's almost like a slight crusting sound. I love the fact that these needles are gold-plated. I'm wounding myself with gold. How decadent. Now, as you can see, my skin is starting to go slightly red. Now, it's very important that you go in with the Banish Banish Oil straight away onto your skin. I certainly wouldn't recommend going in with any strong cleansers or anything that isn't designed to really repair the skin. And the Banish Banish Oil does exactly that. This is a marvellous product. Because I have just made several hundred wounds in my skin, all over the skin and onto the jaw and the neck slightly, my skin is going to be very vulnerable, as yours will be as well if you do microneedling. So I've just quickly sterilised my hands before I go in with the oil. And I'm just applying a little bit of that to my hand and then I'm just... and then I'm spreading it on first of all with a finger. Now my skin is going to need quite a bit of this and I've been very light. I'm not really applying too much pressure with my finger. Cover everywhere that you have microneedled. So I've applied a very liberal amount of that oil all over the skin. This oil is designed to actually heal the skin and because we have microneedled it actually creates micro channels so that the oil is actually able to penetrate the skin and really saturate into the epidermis much more efficiently than if you were just to apply it over the skin. I would definitely make a word of caution. It is probably best to microneedle as I have just done before you go to bed. I would definitely say wear very strong sun protection if you have to go out. Try to avoid the sun, only go out if you really have to. And I would definitely recommend that you do not apply makeup for at least 12 hours. I know that Banish advise eight hours, but I am going to say for at least 12. Now I'm going to go in with the Banish Vitamin C Cream. This will be a fantastic product to apply tomorrow as well as the oil. But because I've gone in with so much of the oil, I'm only going to apply a little bit of this just to the underneath of the eyes. And a little goes quite a long way with this cream. It is very emollient and humectant. You can really spread it quite far. Banishes Vitamin C Beauty Elixir has a slight hint of mint to it, so I am certainly not going to be spritzing this over my skin just after creating the micro wounds. But I am going to apply a little bit of it to the neck. At night, when I need to go to my sarcophagus, I apply a ton of moisturiser, as I have just done. Loads of moisturiser. And then I go in with this and I spray myself with it and I spray it all over the decolletage. Then I put on a little bit of perfume behind my ears. I love to step into my sarcophagus feeling very fabulous. I definitely summarise microneedling. Always make sure that your skin is super clean. Do not microneedle if you have open cuts, healing cuts, pimples, well, you can microneedle around the pimples. If you have active acne, I would definitely say avoid it for the time being. I will also state if you are somebody that tries this out and you have immense irritation or if it isn't working for you or you find that it's caused quite an inflammation, I wouldn't recommend that you continue. And if you're somebody that wants to go ahead with this and is really, really unsure about it, then I would definitely do your research. I would say do your research to anybody about microneedling. And of course, speak to a practitioner or a doctor if you are particularly unsure about it. So that more or less completes my brand and product focus film, trialing, demonstrating and reviewing the entire Banish range, from their skincare to their tools. I shall be leaving all of the applicable links for Banish, their website, their social media, within the description of this film. I will also be providing the applicable link within the description of this film to the YouTube channel of Miss Daisy Jing, Banish's founder. I am also able to provide you a code here today that you may use 
when purchasing any of the Banish products by using the code Lord McLean, L-O-R-D-M-A-C-L-E-A-N, you will be provided with a $5 reduction to your entire order, but it shall only be applicable to a minimum order of $50 and above. The discount code is totally optional. You may wish to use it, you may choose not to. I'd very much like to take the liberty to express my gratitude towards Miss Daisy Jing, as well as the entire Banish team for facilitating a partnership between myself and Banish. I would also like to take this as the opportunity to congratulate Miss Daisy Jing, as well as the entire Banish company on their recent creation of the new Banisher. I would also like to wish Miss Daisy Jing, as well as the entire Banish company, all the best of luck with their product development their future successes, and their growth as a brand. I hope that you have found the tips, the techniques, the recommendations, as well as the demonstrations within today's film to be either interesting, useful, helpful, or beneficial. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and of course, take care. Bye.